Welcome to Minutes That Matter. In this video, we will learn about configuring group policies in Windows Server 2016. In this two part video, this is part one. Let's go to our Windows Server 2016 with Active Directory installed. Open Server Manager. Click on Tools. Open Group Policy Management. Let's uh, go for a full screen view. Expand Forest. Expand Domain. We cannot see the sites directly. So right click on Site and select Show Site. Select the name of the site and say OK. Let's expand our domain name, india.com. Now here is the list of two default group policies which will be there after installing Active Directory. Now the default domain policy will be applied at a domain level. And the default domain controller policy will be applied on all the domain controllers. Now on the OU01, there are no existing policies, but default domain policy applied at the domain level is inherited. Now let's create a new group policy. Let's say hide this PC icon from the desktop. Now after creating the group policy, select the group policy and click edit. In the group policy management editor, we can see we have two configurations, computer configuration and user configuration. Under user configuration, expand policies, expand administrative templates, click on desktop. On the right side, you can see there is an option called or there is a group policy called remove computer icon on the desktop. Select the policy, enable it. To apply the policy. Select apply and then OK. Close the window. Now we have to link this group policy either on an OU or a domain or a site. Now for this example we will choose OU. So right click on the OU and then select link an existing GPO. Select the existing GPO which we have created that is hide this PC. Now we want this group policy to be implemented immediately or to be updated immediately on the server. So we can run a simple command called GP update. We can also give GP update space slash force. Now without giving GP update within 15 to 20 minutes, the group policy will be updated by default. Now we can see that desktop icon that is our computer icon on the server because the group policy is not applied at the domain level, but the policy is applied at the OU level. So on the client side, let's log in as user 2 and see whether the group policy is applied or not. Now we notice that the group policy is not yet affecting the client computer. So let's run the GP update on the client computer as well. Let's log off and log in once again.
now we can see that the group policy got applied hence we are not seeing the desktop icon that is our this pc icon now let's go to display settings and uh, scale it to 125 percent let's go to personalize select themes and then click on desktop icons notice computer icon option is grayed out okay for now let's sign out and switch to the server let's go back to group policy management now let's create one more group policy now by the way if we want we can restrict the group policy to be applied to the user u2 to do that we can click on hide this pc group policy and then click on delegation click on advanced and then we can select the user to do that click add or in advanced click add let's add the user in the security tab we'll select the user u02 check names we can see the upn the user principal name of the user now select the user u02 and then under apply group policy select deny and then apply now i'm sure you are not very clear with this option so let me show it once again go for delegation of the group policy in advanced select add select the user check names now after selecting the user select apply group policy and then select deny and then apply now we have made some changes to the group policy so let's give gp update to instantly update the changes now let's go to the client computer and what we are expecting uh, for the user 2 is user 2 should be able to see this pc icon there it is so we are successfully able to exclude user 2 uh, from being affected by the group policy but if we uh, log into the same client computer as a different user say user 3 now i believe this is the first time user 3 is logging in now we may want to get the desktop icons first have the desktop icons by clicking on themes in settings and notice a uh, computer icon option is grayed out okay let's sign out so we know that only user 2 is excluded from the group policy on this ou now let's go back to our group policy management window so we have learned how to apply group policy at the OU level. Now let's create another group policy. Say some welcome script. Now we want a welcome script to appear 
something like welcome to india domain dot com or india dot com domain, and we can go to editing the script or editing the group policy, but we need to have an existing script to be used for this purpose. So let's go to the local computer. Uh, in C drive, let's create a folder. Uh, say SPT. Open uh, a text document, and uh, we need to type the script here. Use wscript.eco, and uh, within double quotes, we need to mention the message what we want to be displayed when the user logs in. So we have to save it uh, in save as type as all files and let's give a name uh, say logon.vbs vbs stands for visual basic script make sure you save it in save as type all file format now we can see the script so if you double click on it you can see the message now if you want to edit the script you can right click on the same file and click on edit it will open in the text format. Now before we proceed we need to share this folder and copy the network path. Now let's go back to the group policy management window. Now right click on the script group policy. Now we can have startup and shutdown script or we can have logon on logon and log off script for now we would like to go for logon and log off which is related to the user configuration so we'll select logon and then add now we can paste the network path we copied and also mention the exact script file name that is logon dot vbs so it is network path computer name share folder name and the script name now we can provide any additional script parameters if required so let's close this window now we need to link this group policy to say domain Right click on the domain, select link an existing GPU and then select welcome script. Now we have linked a group policy. We would like to update this group policy settings on the server. So we will run GP update. Okay, that was successful. Now because the group policy is applied at a domain level, even the domain administrator who has logged into this server also will get affected. So let's log off and log in. Now what we expect is the recycle bin icon, this PC icon all are visible. Plus we got a script. So the domain level group policy is working. Now let's go to group policy management. Now we have learned how to apply group policy at OU level, how to apply a group policy at domain level. Now let's say we'll go for creating a new group policy to apply it at site level. Now let's make it some something simple, say remove recycle bin icon from the desktop. Now right click on the group policy, edit. Now recycle bin is part of users profile. Hence under user configuration, expand policies, expand administrative templates, click on desktop. 
Now we would like to select remove recycle bin icon from desktop and then enable the policy. Okay, so we have applied the policy. Now we need to link this policy to the site. So expand sites, select that site name and then select link an existing GPO. Now let's select remove RB which we want to apply at site level. Now because we want to apply a group policy at site level, it will definitely affect the domain under that and also the OU within that domain. So once we give group policy update, the policy has to be applied. We can also give GP update force to make sure the group policy definitely gets updated. Let's sign out and sign in to check the group policy. Now we are not supposed to see the recycle bin on the desktop, but we are supposed to see the welcome message. Okay, looks like we have learned how to apply group policy basic level at all the three levels that is OU, site and domain. Now we can test it on the client side. User 3 has logged in and notice that OU level policy, domain level policy and site level policy all are inherited. Hence, we cannot see this PC icon, we cannot see recycle bin, but we can see the welcome message. Notice computer icon and recycle bin icon are grayed out. We will continue about group policies in the next video. Thank you for watching.